Want to know how to trap your friends in an unescapable room? Or how to make their own pet betray them? Here are 93 ways to really mess with your friends in Minecraft. This first trick is really strange. This inventory looks empty, but nothing is getting picked up. They're actually full with light gray stained glass panes. When your friend is AFK, flood them with panes. And watch as they get totally confused while they're not picking anything up. Friends can be very trusting, leaving themselves AFK in your world. You could play this pretty unknown trick. Set down a composter and fill it up, leaving just three pixels of space. Then push them in and close the door. They'll actually be trapped and can only escape by breaking the whole thing. If your friend has carpet, a wicked trick is to put magma blocks on the floor and cover it with matching carpet. Watch for your friend to come home and watch as they hop around, confused, as they take damage from their beloved carpet. A real dirty trick only works if your friend puts down signs. Be a little mischievous by moving the signs around and swapping them about. They'll get lost in no time. In a snowy area, try this bouncy castle trick. Build a castle with a spot where you need to drop down. Cover the lower area with slime blocks. Cover that with snow. And when your friend drops down onto it, they'll bounce wildly out of control into whatever hazard you want. This trick is simple and classic. Chests don't open when there's a block above them. So put some obsidian on top and watch your friends slowly chip away just so they can access their tools. Instead of just moving an AFK player to an obsidian box, how about putting them into a water-filled box with regenerating walls? All you have to do is place lava on the outside of the box, place a conduit to stop them from drowning, and an elder guardian will make sure it takes them literally forever to mine out. I know how to get out! Ah! Poppers literally have a built-in way to prank people. If you hate building huge farms, wait for someone else to do it for you. And place your own hopper beneath the ones that catch all the items. It'll filter you half their items, so you get some free stuff and they won't even notice. 1.20 added this awesome new feature that lets note blocks make mob sounds if you add the right head on top. This means you can set up a random redstone clock below someone's face and drive them insane with mob noises that they'll never be able to track down. Stuck up on boats so you can cross any body of lava, including lava columns. If you put a boat into the lava, you have a split second to jump off it before it breaks. Leap forward and put another boat down to continue across the lava until finally you reach your friend's base. Did you know you can actually do a super jump with just a flint and steel? Set fire to a block and jump into the fire. Jump again as you take damage and the impact will propel you a little higher, letting you jump two and sometimes three blocks high. No fence can stand in your way. Disguise yourself in deceptive Minecraft skins. Some of these are banned in many servers, but if you dress to look like the blocks the base is made of, you can blend in and sneak in behind your friends as they walk through the front door. This next trick requires your very own pet zombie. Put a name tag on them, hide them under your friend's bed, and watch as a game won't let them sleep because enemies are too close by. I like to call this trick the drip leaf drop. A big drip leaf creates a platform that can hold you up, but it folds soon after. Grow one above a big pit and lead your friend over it. You'll trigger the fold and they'll fall right in. <laughs> hey! If your friend is online and you can access a house, play a really weird trick by building an upside down version of their house on top of their regular house. It's a bizarre, mind-bending monument that will take time to remove, if they even want to. If your friend is a pet dog, a real sadistic trick is to replace it with your own. Hide their dog and name your own dog the same name. Then watch as your friend struggles, wondering why it won't listen to them anymore. You can even hit your friend and watch as they run screaming from the dog they thought was their best friend. One of my favorite ways to set up one of these random clocks is to add a chicken underground somewhere in a small room with a pressure plate. The chicken will walk around slowly and activate whatever whatever you want it to. I recommend a bell because, oh my god, they're loud. If you want to be even more annoying and going to sleep with monsters nearby, I think this phrase will still haunt us in 20 years. All you've got to do is bring over a mob, name tag it, and hide it underneath your friend's bed. A creeper is best for this because it's silent and it'll take forever for your friend to find it. And when they do, I'll spawn a wither to help you break in. The wither's attacks can destroy almost any block in Minecraft. So, lure it to your friend's base and watch it make massive holes even in obsidian walls. Jump in and take their stuff. Use their XP farms against them. If it looks like this, and the bottom of the farm will often end up inside their base because it's more convenient for them. Climb into the top of the XP farm. It'll be funneled down to the bottom and you can break out into the heart of their base. This pig can walk through walls. If you ride a pig up to the wall of the base and then get off it, you can hit the pig and the brief damage reaction will nudge the pig a tiny bit into the wall. Quickly ride the pig! And it will continue going forward, letting you ride right through the wall. Don't worry about punching your pig either. Just means free bacon in your friend's house. What if the base is hidden or has a secret entrance you just can't figure out? If you know the general area the base is, just eat a chorus fruit! It can teleport you to some crazy places, including through solid walls, ignoring the secret entrance completely. If your friend wants a nice oxidized copper roof, trick them by secretly waxing the copper blocks with honeycomb. They'll be waiting for days when 
wondering why it's not turning that lovely shade of green. Check out this infinite lightning rod. If you can trap your friend in a room above one, see how long they can survive as lightning constantly strikes around them. Bring extra difficulty by dropping hostile mobs in with them. This deadly trick is devilishly simple. If your friend uses water to jump great distances, put the blue tin to block over the water. It totally blends in, and you can watch as your friend slams into it at full speed. This boat is actually a trick. When you get in, it explodes into as many boats as you want. To make it, just pour a ton of boats into a hopper that drops into a dispenser on repeat. It will place boat after boat after boat into the same spot on the water. Then you should break the machine apart and watch the chaos from afar as your friend tries to get in. The dirty trick to swipe their goods is to hide a hopper underneath their furnace. Their new smelted ingots fall right into your evil clutches. Keep those stolen goods out of sight by hiding them in chests. These actually have a limit on how far they can be before the game stops showing them. So if you put them all the way to the top of the sky above the clouds, your friend will never find what you took. Is your friend one of those people that has a bunch of those drop shoots in their base to get around? A super simple way to mess with them is to simply change the water to a lapis block or blue stained glass. But a lot of people have grown wise to this and will check first. That's why you can add this setup of chests and water at the bottom so you can jump down and be totally fine. But when your friend follows you, he'll have a slightly less safe landing. Another similar trap is to place a drip leaf above a huge pit. When you fall onto it, you'll be totally fine. But it'll flip down when your friend falls and send them into the deep dark pit below. Did you know that observers can tell when you hop in a bed? This gives me an idea. Using a simple circuit with a dispenser, you can create a machine that'll stop them from ever sleeping. There's always one guy that's super protective about their builds and won't let you anywhere near them. And obviously, you can't just blow their base up. Or can you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that didn't work. So instead, if you've got any copper in their build, try using an axe on it to change the color and then waxing it with honeycomb. Or if they have logs, simply strip them with an axe to change the color. Such a simple troll that will easily ruin any friendships you may have left. In snowy areas, some bases will have secret entrances covered with powdered snow. Wait until night, and if you see some snow on a mountain that's slightly brighter than the rest, that's light coming through from the inside. Get an elytra and fly straight into that snow. You'll pass right through into the base. If your friend is a locked door, make your own redstone mechanism to open it. Nothing is stopping you from bypassing whatever complex system they made inside the walls by just placing down and activating a redstone block against the door. If your friend's base has its own private nether portal, then use that as a way in. Find the coordinates of the connected portal in the nether by taking the overworld coordinates of the base and dividing the X and the Z by 8. That's where the portal in the nether will be, giving you a back door into the protected fortress. Try this spooky trick with your good friend Johnny. Name tag a vindicator with that name and they go nuts, killing everything they see. Turn them invisible and set them loose in the neighborhood. First, your friends will see animals dying. Then suddenly, they'll start getting hit as Johnny turns on them. Hide behind a tree and play a goat horn to add scary sound effects. If your friend is showing off their riches with shiny gold blocks, play this funny trick by replacing them with yellow concrete blocks. See how long it takes for them to notice. Use an anvil to change their name. And you can replace the blocks they hide in their chest too. Try this pit trap as a dirty trick to play. Dig a huge hole. Put up a bunch of scaffolding to cover the top. Cover that with snow and put a little treat in the center. Hide at the bottom and wait for them to take the bait. Then hit the scaffold and watch them tumble down to their death. Here's a trick they might not notice at first but will hate when they notice. Dig out the blocks under your friend's house. Then put path blocks all around it. Path blocks are slightly smaller, so the gap will show the empty underside of their house. But only if you're looking carefully. Once they notice, they'll see it everywhere. This will also help with this truly terrible trick. This gap under the house will fill up with monsters as they spawn in the dark. When your friend least expects it, will hear the growl of a zombie dangerously close and would have no idea where it's coming from. If somebody has a carpet in their house, they've left themselves open to one of the easiest and most annoying pranks in the game. All it takes is for you to tear up their carpet and place a bunch of water below and then fill it up with puffer fish. As soon as they walk home and expect to lay down on their comfy, cozy carpet, they'll get a spiky surprise. Don't you think it's weird that all dogs look exactly the same in Minecraft? You can use this to really mess with people. All you've got to do is push someone's dog somewhere hidden and replace it with your own. When your friend comes to grab their dog for walkies, they'll spend ages trying to figure out why they can't make it sit up. Just make absolutely sure that you don't hurt their dog in the process at all. Oh god, I can't help myself! Did you know you can add the curse of binding to a carved pumpkin? And that you can equip carved pumpkins with dispensers? I think you get the idea. You can place a dispenser pretty much anywhere, like under somebody's door. And before they know it, yeah, where's the nearest cliff? If the building you're breaking into is full of death traps, just stock up on totems of undying! It's way easier than trying to avoid everything. Just take the hit and keep on moving. Players will often have secret tunnels that lead far away to their stash. If you x-ray by crawling and pressing a slab into your face with a piston, 
You can seek out small separate rooms filled with blocks. Dig toward those because they're less likely to be well defended. And we'll have a corridor straight into the base. A server owner can use creative to build a house out of bedrock. Break through with the latest bedrock cracking machine. Using a piston, a trapdoor, some TNT, obsidian, and a lever, you can glitch the game to destroying the bedrock and letting you in. They say the safest base is a hidden one. So how do you break in if you can't even find it? Look for the FPS drop. If you turn on the FPS counter using the settings on your PC or FN plus F3 on a Mac, you can see how fast your game is running. If you're out in the wilderness, the FPS should be high. But if there's a bunch of entities nearby like chess, players, or armor stands, the FPS will take a slight dip. That means the base is nearby. Start digging! This insane block placement glitch lets you climb invisible ghost blocks. If you swap a block into your offhand and place it at the same time, it will exist in the world but be invisible. You can climb walls without a trace. But even better, if you use slime blocks, it will launch you into the air, letting you scale tall towers at high speed. Did your friends store their enchantment books and ordered chess? Play a trick by replacing some of their high-level books with level 1 books. They all look the same, so they might not even notice until it's already too late. No matter how many chickens your friend clears away, more keep coming with this next trick. Stuff a bunch of chickens above a hopper. The eggs go into a dispenser with a repeater causing it to shoot the eggs out, spawning a bunch more chickens in the process. Hide this contraption in a tree near your friend's house, and he'll be drowning in chicks. Want to trap your AFK friend in a little box? It's the first trick anyone tries, but if you waterlog the blocks, it becomes so much harder to break. And when they do, your friend will be drowning in water. Your friend keeps cutting down your favorite tree? Get revenge with this new trick. Hide anvils in the trunk among the leaves. If someone cuts through enough of the tree, the anvil will fall right on top of them. This silky little trick is great if your friend has a fear of spiders. Fill their house with cobwebs, making them slowly trudge through their own home. Then put a single spider in their bedroom to attack. When they complain, just blame the spider. Spawn trapping is one of the most annoying things to do to someone in any game. And luckily, it's super simple to do in Minecraft. All you need to do is remove all the blocks around someone's bed and place this obsidian chamber right next to it instead. Whenever they respawn, they'll be trapped in here without tools and forced to punch their way out. If you want to cause a more permanent problem for your friend though, this one might be for you. Using this setup of slime blocks and redstone, you can create a rocket that'll send your friend all the way up to the top of the world. These walls are too thick. Better use a TNT cannon. Make an obsidian rectangle that's seven blocks long with an open end toward the wall. Add a block up on the left side here. Put a water block at the back and a slab at the front. Set TNT on the slab and up to but not including the water block. Then put two levers with redstone. One is for the TNT on the ground, the other for the slab TNT. Activate the first and watch them flow. Then before they explode, activate the other. It launches forward and smashes the base. Reload with TNT and do it again until you breach the walls. You can ignite TNT from miles away with this glitch. If you attach a fishing rod to something and walk into the nether, the game will glitch and your fishing rod will have infinite range. Use it to set off TNT next to the enemy base. From as far away as you can and they'll never know it was you. If you run over and pretend to help, you can get into the base and take what you like. <laughs> Lava doesn't burn scaffolding, so try this trick on a friend trying to break your stuff. Put scaffolding in your house that looks like you use it as a ladder. At the top, put some lava and hide it from view. If your friend wants to be mean and break your scaffold, they'll be greeted with a face full of lava. This next evil trick is quick and easy. Wait at the top of a bubble stream shaft. Shoot a bunch of arrows of harming into the top. And when your friend gets to the top, they'll get hit and maybe even die. This naughty little trick is also really simple. If your friend boasts about their log cabin, go around their house, stripping a block here and there at random. It will look dreadful. Fungus is your friend with this next trick you can play on your friends while they're away. Dig under their home, plant a bunch of mushrooms, and add a little bit of bone meal. The mushrooms will grow massive, cutting through your friend's house and deleting anything in its path. Give them a fungal infestation. This trick is sneaky. If your friend lives near a forest, slowly plant more and more trees closer and closer to their house. They'll think it's just a forest growing as it eventually surrounds their house. Keep planting trees in every block you find until they're in a thick, never-ending jungle. If you replace the leaves of a tree with some of your own you've snipped, those leaves will stay even if your friend breaks the wood blocks away, leaving these floating leaf islands that your friend will want to clean up to get them out of the way. Speaking of chests, they're a perfect way to test the strength of your friendship. With a comparator, some pistons, and a diamond, you can test exactly how much you should be trusting your friends. One of the best parts about pranking somebody is being able to see their reaction when they realize what's happening, and nothing does that better than this setup made by Grian. Nobody can resist the satisfaction of punching out a huge tower of scaffolding. So build one up above somebody's house, but have it hold just a single block of lava like this. When your friend goes to break it and realizes what's happened, it's already too late, and you'll get to watch them scramble to try and stop it. Another of Grian's devious inventions is the boat bomb, and this one's even simpler. All you've got to do is craft a ton, and I mean a ton of boats, and chuck them on top of a hopper, and dispense them all out like this. As soon as an unsuspecting 
explorer comes along and tries to get in? Yeah, I'll make sure they find this themselves so you don't have to help clean it up. Speaking of bombs… I'm sorry! Did you know that TNT dropped into an end portal doesn't actually explode until you jump in yourself? It even keeps its fuse length, so if you drop it from around 70 blocks up, it'll instantly blow up whoever is unfortunate enough to head through next, along with all the valuable gear they were bringing too. This base is covered in lava! Clear it with sand and scaffolding. Make a square of sand with a block square of sand in the corner. Each block will sink down and delete the lava in that space. Fill up to the surface so you can walk on it, then delete the top block of that one extra sand in the corner. Replace it with scaffold and right-click on it to fill the rest of the lava. The scaffolding doesn't burn and deletes the lava! Take the sand block down and repeat the process until the base is REVEALED! If the base is in the air and you don't have elytra, make a man cannon instead! Put some obsidian around a ton of TNT in minecarts! If you have blast protection, a shield and stand on a higher level than the TNT, you can survive and still get launched way into the air! Hit yourself with punch arrows and you can get real distance onto that floating building! A secret base can be hidden underwater and it can be very hard to see. The easiest way to find it is to get in a boat and do this weird vision trick. When in the boat on the water, if you go into third person view, you can angle the camera to just about touch the water surface. The vision will glitch and show you everything under the water without that underwater filter, making any odd structure or entity easy to find. Watch out for pitfall traps! If the floor disappears under you and the trap is revealed, do this crazy flying glitch! To do it, have the game in windowed mode. And when the floor falls away, right click on the window bar at the top. You'll freeze in the air! You'll need a fellow home invader with you to put a block under you. So when you click on the game to unfreeze, you'll land safe and sound. Trap avoided! If they have an auto smelter, a simple yet wicked trick is a little sabotage. Clog up the works by putting dirt in the furnaces. They can't smelt it, so they'll be stuck here until your friend cleans them out by hand. String trip wire can block bamboo and sugar cane from growing, and is invisible! Use it in this wicked trick. Put it on your friend's farms and see how long it takes them to notice that bamboo just isn't growing at all. An even better trick to play on AFK friends is to build a whole pool portal around them. It'll send them to the nether. And once you break the portals on either side, they'll be crying out, wondering how they even got here. Does your friend live near a village? Play a fun little trick by putting name tags on all the villagers. Name them with taunts and jokes about your friend. And watch them wonder why all the villagers are so mean. Wanna trick your friend who just got a brand new set of netherite tools? Enchanted stone tools look a lot like the netherite set. So why not get some efficiency one stone equipment and swap them over? They won't need the netherite ones, right? Dripstone works too if you're not feeling that mean. But let's face it, you'd rather blow them up. Another great way to blow someone sky high is with TNT minecarts. Sure, there's all these ways to create nukes with them, but let's face it, you're gonna have to end up cleaning that up. So instead, if someone has a railway down to their mines, just add a couple TNT minecarts at the end. When they run into them and blow up, if anything, you're just helping them mine. Since they were added in the 1.13 update, bubble columns have been the absolute best elevator solution we've had. And conveniently, there's tons of ways to trap them and make your friend's life just a little bit worse. The easiest is to surround on the top in obsidian, so they have to spend ages mining it while underwater to get out. But my personal favorite is to shoot a bunch of tipped arrows in the water that hit anyone coming up. Instant damage or poison works to give them a real scare, but I prefer to use slowness to create just the tiniest inconvenience for them. If the floor of your friend's base is only slab, then dig a tunnel under the ground of the building. Put a single water source block to have a little water flow through. If you ride a boat in that one block space, the water will bob you up through the floor and even let you interact with objects in side, like the button to open the door. Boats are amazing and can be used to break into buildings in a lot of ways. Put one on the roof and you can phase through by jumping in and out of the boat with perfect timing. Your friend might put an elder guardian near their base, giving you mining fatigue, making it way harder to break blocks to get in. That's why you should always bring buckets of milk. But if you don't have that, set up a bed spawn nearby and kill yourself! Mining fatigue is a five minute cooldown, so you'll have plenty of time to break in and loot the place before it can hit you with it again. Here's a trick to play on AFK players. Why not build a maze around them? In fact, why not make the walls out of falling lava for some extra spice? Get real dangerous with this deadly portal trick. Just drop some activated TNT into an end portal, but don't go in yourself. The TNT will only explode in the end when someone is there. So wait for your friend to go in first. Or the TNT you drop there will explode at the same time, sending your friend sky high! This secret little trick makes it look like this hole is full of water, but the water is actually only a block deep. Using pistons and slime blocks, you can create a floating block of water that doesn't fall. When 
bunch of friends swims down through it. It's a straight drop to their death. This trick makes it look like a regular mining tunnel. But there's a secret. If you place redstone ore into the floor and connect that to a hidden observer, this ore becomes a trap trigger. Hide some TNT under that and your friend won't know what hit him. This trick is so murky, I can barely even see. This is because you can hide campfires underneath your friend's flooring and the smoke will float up through. Put as many as you can and they'll have to tear up their house just to get rid of them. Uh-oh, shulker sensors have been placed all over this minefield. One noise and it all goes up. You could sneak by, but you can easily get caught. So you've got to move fast. The answer is to jump and sneak. If you constantly jump the entire way and press the sneak button, just as you hit the ground each time, you can go fast and stay quiet enough for the sensors not to notice you. This next trick will let you fly up to high buildings without TNT or elytra. The trick is to get your own pet shulker. You need to catch them in a boat or minecart that leads to the end gate out of the end city and eventually through the main end portal into the overworld. Throw them away in a boat toward the target base and let yourself get cursed with levitation. You'll fly up into the sky and with a good enough levitation, it won't matter how high the base is. Use subterfuge. If your friend is in need of a certain mob, like a particular villager or perhaps the ultra rare brown panda, get one for yourself and offer to bring it to their base. You can lead it over and you'll get access to the base as you bring the creature into its new home. Once inside, steal as many items as you can. It's fair payment for such a rare panda. An endangered species, you know. Fencing has been used to cover this entire opening. There's no way in without breaking it. Unless you get a trap door. The crawl mechanic actually changes your hitbox. And with a fence like this, if you set up a trap door right next to it and make yourself crawl, you'll be halfway through the fence already. Just keep moving through and you'll slide right in without breaking a single block. One of the simplest ways to really make someone mad in Minecraft is to simply just fill up their house with water. It takes you two minutes to place a bunch of water or ice on their roof, but will take them forever to place and break blocks everywhere to get rid of it all. If you want to be really evil, you can bone meal a bunch of kelp to make all of the water source blocks. So without sponges, they're going to be there for years. If you want to take your friend out in a super creative way, try using this super unique trick. When there's enough entities in a small place, it'll start dealing damage to them. That means if you can get your friend to fall into a hole with a bunch of minecarts, it'll start damaging them automatically. If you'd rather be less malicious, try using armor stands instead. They won't deal damage, but they take forever to break. Oh, finally, I broke the last one. Now it's a climb out.